This week, health officials confirmed a case of the measles has been linked to the Asbury Revival Service in Wilmore. As of right now, it's the only one reported in Jessamine County, but that doesn't mean other service attendees are in the clear. LEX 18 Cindy Darden spoke with a health expert about the signs and symptoms you should look out for if you've been infected. And she joins us live in the studio. Sydney, what are the next steps? if you suspect that you have the measles. Yeah, well, Megan, health officials are most concerned about people who attended the Asbury Revival Service, as we mentioned, on February 18th. Now, remember that this is a disease that can stay in a room for up to two hours once it goes airborne. So if you think... If you think you've been infected, one health expert that I sat down with tells me your first move should be determining whether or not you're vaccinated. If you can pretty quickly find that you had two doses of a measles containing vaccine with the dates and we know for sure that it was done correctly, you're good. That's Dr. Elizabeth Haas with Commonwealth Pediatrics. She says if you aren't sure if you've had both rounds of the measles vaccine and you can't figure it out quickly, getting another shot is the way to go. So if you ended up getting a third vaccine, you definitely or you didn't need, you know, in retrospect, your parent finds the dates or you find the date. There's no increased risk of side effects to you. Most people receive both shots of the measles vaccine in early childhood. But if you're unvaccinated and you've been exposed, Haas says there's a 90 percent chance that you will be infected. First of all, you need to stay home and quarantine for 21 days from the date of the 18th of February. OK, so you should not be continuing to go to work or school and just watching for symptoms. You should be staying home. This is the third measles case confirmed in Kentucky in the last three months. Haas says the tricky part about the highly contagious disease is determining if your symptoms are just a cold or something more serious. What symptoms should they be looking out for? Cough, pink eye type symptoms. Um, those kind of symptoms occur before the rash begins. And, you, and so with that being said, let's go down the checklist right there behind me. Haas says since right now there's only one confirmed case, this doesn't qualify as an outbreak. This is more an exposure. So if you are at Asbury on February 18th, you are unvaccinated or you're unsure of your status and you start to get cold symptoms like a runny nose, cough, irritated eyes, you may want to get yourself tested for measles. It's important to go out and contact your physician, but be sure to call them before you enter the building so that they can make arrangements and they can prepare for your arrival, Megan. Very important stuff.